In case you're wondering why I still haven't changed my shirt, I'm actually recording several in one go just to catch up. Um, I saw Bird Box recently. Netflix is a big Christmas movie. This year's bright, because obviously everyone wants another piece of that. Um, and it's, it's an odd film. It's based on a novel by a musician. It shows. Um, something has happened on Earth. There are creatures of some sort. And if you see them, then so you see your worst fear or something and then you try and kill yourself or you go crazy and you try and make other people look at the creatures who are resisting it. And if you don't look, then you'll be fine. And it's 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 too complicated. <laughs> the basic premise of the film is too complicated. And I found it compared very poorly with... Um, a Quiet Place, which, as of this recording, I still haven't seen, but I have read a synopsis, so I kind of know the ins and outs of it. A Quiet Place has a very simple concept. <laughs> the monsters are very sensitive to sound. If you make a noise, they will hear you and kill you. It's that simple. With Bird Box, if you see them, you go crazy and you try and kill yourself, or maybe you don't. Maybe you go sane. Maybe uh, if you're crazy, then it kind of makes you one of them. It's, it, it's too convoluted, and too much of the film is spent... With just with a group of uninteresting characters holed up in a house with newspaper taped over the windows. Um, but it keeps cutting back and forth to five years in the future where Sandra Bullock, who's the main character and who is pregnant at the beginning of the movie, her child is now grown. She's got another child who we assume is the, is the child of um, another pregnant woman hiding in the same house. They're trying to travel down river from somewhere to get to a, a place that is apparently a safe haven. So we already know that Sandra Bullock's going to be okay from this house and that something has happened to everybody else. So that undercuts the tension straight away. Um, it's a very oddly structured film and it's a real come down for uh, Susanna Beer, who directed, who um, her most recent work was The Night Manager, which was a real tour de force. It was basically a, a, a very expensive six hour movie with an astonishing cast, a complex story, told brilliantly. And here you've got a really fairly nonsensical story told in two hours in a way that doesn't make a lot of sense. And, um, sorry about the noise there. And it's really not particularly good. Sandra Bullock is really on autopilot. John Malkovich is in there giving the John Malkovich performance of... Um, seemingly thinking that he's in a sitcom or that he's Kenneth Williams because everything's overacting. Uh, Tom Holland turns up late on and is completely miscast. Um, it's just a real mess. Sarah Paulson is in it very briefly and you think, well, why is she not the lead actor in this? Because it's Netflix. You don't have to worry about box office figures. You don't need a huge star in the lead role. And the fact that Bird Box has been a huge success on Netflix, I find baffling because it's really not very good. People doing the Bird Box challenge, by the way, are idiots. Um, so overall, it's a really disappointing film. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's kind of baffling that it's it's caught on the way it has because it's far too complicated. It rips off The Happening, <laughs> which is a terrible movie about people spontaneously going crazy and trying to kill themselves the downside of Bird Box is it doesn't have any of the crazy death scenes from that, like someone climbing into a lion enclosure and feeding a lion his own arm, or laying down in front of a lawnmower. If it had had that, I probably would have given it a better write-up.